Hey, what's up guys? Reese Woos here. I'm coming out to another video. I have a new video series that I'm doing here. It's story time, you know, life stories of mine. I'm not sure exactly how often I'm going to be uploading this. Probably upload it Wednesdays or Fridays. Probably Fridays more often than Wednesdays. And, and I'm not sure if I'll do it like twice a week or once a week. And or if I'm doing it um, bi-weekly or by once every other week. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Definitely depends on how often I'm making the videos and how often I can think of a good story to tell. So basically in this story I broke into my truck. I was at my brother's house and I was about to get home so I went and I went to go unlock my truck. The lock was giving me issues so you know I, I was jiggling it you know, if you ever have a car and then you know the lock's cold so this is sort of there in the winter and I'm jiggling it and I, I finally get it to where it unlocks and then I when I go to pull the key out, it wasn't really pulling out, so I started to it again, kind of pulling out at the same time. And I went too, a little too far right, not noticing, and it pretty much locked the car back up. So I you know, I still had the door open at the point. I just pulled out the key I got in, and I have a manual, so I pushed in the clutch with my right foot instead of my left. I was just kind of partially in the car. Started it, threw it in neutral, and I never actually closed the door during this entire procedure. I left it just ajar and like my foot was kind of hanging out a little and then I got out I closed the door and in my truck if I open up or I pull the handle on the inside of the door it'll actually unlock the door but I never fully closed it so I didn't grab that handle and I closed the door and then walked back inside never really thought about it you know just waiting for my car to warm up because if you don't wait, it, wait for it to warm up 5-10 minutes in the winter it actually hurt the engine because it's cold so when I go back out to go and leave I pretty much noticed I locked the door and I was like, oh, come on. So I go to the other side to see if it was unlocked. It wasn't. Because when I unlock one side, it doesn't lock both sides. So I got to, it's, yeah, it's retarded. So I went back inside and went and got my brother. We got a hanger. We broke it. And we tried one of those things in the movie, but we couldn't really like, get in the seal. Like if you've ever seen the movies or TV shows where like they put the hanger down and like unlock the door. But we really couldn't do that because of where it's, how the seal was. So. We were able to open the door enough because only like one little, the locks latched. So we were able to open it enough to get the hanger in. And where my door handle is, it's like closer to the like, if I guess if you're sitting in it, it's like farther up to the left and so like closer to the back of the door. So it's hard enough just to get there and get the leverage to open it. I'm on the other side with the flashlight while he's trying to play around with it and get it so we can actually unlock the door. And we couldn't get the door unlocked because like we didn't have enough leverage and like where the handle was it, just, it was not going our way so after a couple minutes trying that five ten minutes probably we went to the i have like a back window a lot of trucks especially older trucks have like a back window where you can open with like it has like a latch and you you pull on that latch and pull it open and it'll have like a small opening in the middle if you know what i'm talking about which you probably do so it has that and we took the hanger and we pushed it in there and he's like messing with it he bent it differently and then he's we're getting the leverage we're pretty close and after he almost got it one time i started pulling a little on the door or not door the window next to it like the stationary window i guess we call it on the left side while he is trying to push it out and then i'm also pushing on that window like toward inside the car or the truck excuse me while he is trying to unlatch the the last so he has like less room where I can push it open once he gets it and we're we're messing with that about five ten minutes and he finally gets it and I push it open and now we're in but we're not truly in yet we still had to unlock the vehicle so it's in the middle of the truck and the window wasn't big enough for either of us to fit in enough or to completely get in the truck I tried so after getting in trying to get in we finally noticed we couldn't so I tried to get in like pull the handle on the door just to unlock it and I was able to reach far enough like I wasn't able to get my body far enough in to actually unlock it I didn't have long enough arms neither did he so we went and got the hanger and tried that number again but that didn't really work because it, it just wasn't strong enough especially after bending it a bunch of times so we went and got a crowbar I asked him if he had a crowbar so he went and got that and I unlocked it that way, like I got in as far as I could, reached my arm out and barely had enough reach to actually open it with a curl bar. And I finally opened it and I made sure to go and lock the other side and I went back in and got a couple of things and brought it back out. And 
like when we finally opened it and we're like call the cops we were like it was amazing we were ecstatic about it it was great just to actually break into my car pretty much but yeah if you ever broke in your car or, you know broke in another car i guess put in the comments below and uh give this video a like and i'm out